All right, so now with measures of dispersion, the most widely used ones include variance and standard deviation, and that is what we are going to focus on in this tutorial, okay? So um, the variance of a random variable X is given by the expression below, which can also be expressed in this form. So it's going to be the expectation of the square deviation between the random variable and its mean, okay? And we can also simplify it in this form, okay? All right, so once um, your random variable X is discrete, you use this first expression. And if the random variable X is continuous, then you use this second expression, okay? Now let's take a look at this. Um, the standard deviation of X is given by the square roots of the variance, okay? So this sigma is showing the um, standard deviation of X, which is going to be the square root of the variance, okay? Now let's take a look at this remark. The variance of a random variable has the following properties. One, if C is a constant, then the variance of the constant is equal to zero. If A is a constant and X is a random variable, then the variance of this expression, A multiplying the random variable X, can be expressed in this form, okay? Then if A and B are constant, then for any random variable X, the variance of AX plus B can be expressed in this form, okay? Because we know that once you see the variance of the constant, it's going to be zero, so we just have this, okay? All right, so now let's take an example. X is a discrete random variable with probability mass function PMF. We want to find the variance of X. So let's take a look at the solution for this. So we know the variance of X can be expressed in this form, and we have our mean or let's put, um, the expected value of random variable or the mean to be equal to five. And we know this from our previous tutorial on measures of central tendency. Okay, we obtained this. So in case you have skipped that, you can just check out my video tutorial on the measures of central tendency. Okay, by clicking on the link in the card above or check the description of this video for the link. Okay, all right. So we know that the mean is equal to five. Now we want to find this, right? The expectation of x squared. So we can express it in this form and we can also have it in this form, okay? So uh, once you use a calculator to compute this, you obtain this. So therefore the variance of x is going to be the expectation of x squared, which we have here, minus the mean squared, okay? And once you use a calculator to compute this, you obtain this, very quite simple, okay? All right, so now let's take a look at the standard deviation. The standard deviation of x will be the square root of the variance, right, which will be in this form, okay? All right, so the next example, let, let y denote a random variable with probability density function. And we want to find the variance of this expression to y plus four. So how do we do this? Um, given that the mean of this random variable is three out of four, and we know how we got this from our previous tutorial on measures of central tendency, you can check that one out in case you have skipped that by clicking on the link in the card above or check the description of this video for the link, okay? So we obtain the mean of the random variable to be three out of four. So we know that the variance of this can be expressed in this form based on the third condition from remark two. And we can also write it in this form, okay? So the variance of y can be expressed in this form. So now we have to obtain this, the expectation of y squared, which can be written in this form. So once you multiply through by y squared, you get this. And once you integrate, then you obtain this. Um, once you input the values, you obtain this, okay? So um, this is going to give us three out of five. So therefore the variance of um, 2y plus 4 will be in this form. So this 3 out of 5 is given as the expectation of y squared. And the 3 out of 4 squared is given as the mean squared. Okay, so we are using this expression of 4 variance y. So this square bracket is given as the variance of y, okay? Where we have the expectation of y squared minus the mean squared. So once you use a calculator to compute this, you obtain this, which will also give you that, okay? Very quite simple to do. So um, there's going to be a trial question. I'm going to leave the solution in the description of this video so you can check it out. Don't forget to subscribe if you find value in today's tutorial. And um, thank you for watching.